Patrick, and I wanted to talk to you today about video. Here on video, can you believe that? Video has become super important on all social media, whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, of course. So I wanted to share a special guest with you guys today, and her name is Sunny. Sunny Leonarduzzi is amazing. She has a fantastic YouTube channel where she has built over 70,000 subscribers in a year, which is amazing. So I wanted to bring her on my channel today to share a tip with you guys so you can learn how to be better on your social media videos. There are some actually tangible things you can do every single day to make yourself fall in love with you on camera first so that you don't have to worry about what other people think. So the first thing is watch yourself a lot. Like watch yourself on video as much as you can because that's gonna get you more comfortable with the idea of it. The reason that you don't like the sound of your voice or you hate the way you look on camera is because you're not used to it. You're not used to seeing yourself on camera so it's uncomfortable, it's new, it's foreign. So try and watch yourself back as much as possible. The next thing you wanna do is ask your close friends and family to watch your videos as well. Even if you film just a practice video, show them 30 seconds of it and say, does this sound like me? Am I talking the, the way that I would normally talk to you? So that they can tell you and give you honest feedback and they'll do it with love so that it's not harsh or mean and tell you if you are acting naturally. The next thing you wanna do is find a role model. So this is kind of faking it till you make it, especially when you're just starting out making videos. It can be super uncomfortable and super overwhelming. So what you wanna do is find a role model. Is there someone currently on YouTube or even on TV that you think does a really great job of naturally presenting? Study them, watch their clips, Google them, watch as many videos as you can and see what their sort of tendencies are with how they move their hands, with their intonations and have that as a backup. I'm not saying copy them or mimic them, but have that as a backup if you ever get really uptight or uncomfortable on camera. You can have that person as kind of a role model and backup that you can fall into just so you can make it easier on yourself making your first couple of videos. And the final thing is use platforms like live streaming, Snapchat, and Instagram stories. Those are all video platforms, but the great thing is that you don't have to edit them. So it just gets you comfortable being on camera and you can retake as many times as you want before posting it unless it's a live stream that's why that's kind of the best platform because it's trial by fire if you screw up you screw up no biggie um, so do live streaming start with snapchat and instagram stories to just get comfortable seeing yourself on camera and like i said do as many retakes as you want before you post it but at least you're seeing yourself you're hearing yourself and you're going to start to love yourself before you put yourself out there on video. I hope that you guys will take the time to go to Sunny's full video and you guys can find the link down here below. I hope you subscribe to my channel, follow me on the socials, there's links to everything down below and I hope that you are inspired to go try out some social media videos yourself.